Hi guys, um, I've just had a delivery, it's uh, my diesel heater that's just turned up. I bought one of them Chinese versions because there's been quite a bit of a rave about them and how good they are. So I'm just going to go and unpack the box and we'll see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and unpack the box. So first thing we've got in the box is one of these turrets. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, I had to buy this separately. So uh, the other thing we got is this uh, 15 litre diesel tank. Not sure whether I'm going to use that yet. I'm going to think about that one. So I'm just going to go ahead now and open up the box and see what we got in there. Okay, so this is the original plate that comes with the, with the uh, heater, which we won't be using that um, because I've put all the flooring down now. I'm having to use the uh, the turret one, so we'll just throw that one away. We're not going to need that one. So I've got a cardboard box here full of bits and pieces. Um, cables, bag of fixings, and a fuel filter in there by the looks of it. Uh, we've got our vents. Uh, I'm only going to be putting one of them in here. One of them's got to go in the shower area because I'm going to be using the shower area as a drying room as well. Uh, got our little remote. We've got the fuel pipe, just a green one. Got the fuel pump, an exhaust, and some bits of tubing, exhaust pipe, a remote. This is the air filter. couple more fixings in here so let's just get the, the heater out itself and and this is the heater which ain't bad so we give it a go see what it's like uh, they're not that expensive. I think this was about 170 pounds. So we'll just go ahead and see what it's like. So let me just go ahead and show you where I'm going to be fitting that. So there's my bench seat, guys. Um, I'm going to be fitting it underneath the bench seat in there. So I'm just going to take the top off of the bench seat now and uh, have a look whereabouts we're going to put it so i've taken the lid off the bench seat as you can see and i'm going to be fitting it in here i am also got a bubble van water heater coming uh hopefully that'll be coming soon there is a bit of a waiting list for them so i'm just going to go ahead now and fit the diesel heater inside there so first thing i want to do is run a few cables i think so i'm just going to have a look at that now Alright guys, so I've just done some measurements on where I can fit that heater from underneath the van. Um, so I'm now just going to go ahead and drill out the hole for the turret. So let's go ahead and make a move on that.
okay guys that's that hole cut out and my gosh it's a big hole there you go guys that's a 130 mil hole that we've just cut out there so i'm now just going to test the turret see if that fits in there okay and have a look and see what it looks like from underneath Okay, so that's a perfect fit. So what I'm going to do now is install the heater to the turret plate. So let's go ahead and do that. Exhaust, I think, is that one.
Okay guys, so that's all the uh, pipes fitted to the heater. Go ahead and show you that. So you've got your air intake, your exhaust and your fuel line. So I'm now just gonna go and put that in position in there and screw that down. Guys, that's that all screwed down in position. So my next job now is to put one of the vents in the front here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, that's both of the air vents in. I've put one on the uh, bench seat. Let me go ahead and show you that. Which is just there. And, and the other one I have put in the shower down here. Because when we're not using the shower, we can use this as a dry room. Because we've got the vent up there, so we can have heat coming in, circulating through and then back out again. And we can use that as a drying room for any wet clothes that we have, or wet towels. So what I'm going to be doing now guys is I'm just going to go underneath and uh, connect the exhaust up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Right guys, so I've now connected up all the exhaust and everything on the heater. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I've done underneath uh, with running the pipe work and everything for the heater. I've also used that 15 litre diesel tank that I said I weren't going to use. I've put that in the garage area. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you that as well. And then what we'll do is we're going to switch it all on to make sure it's all working. So let me just go underneath and show you how I've installed it all underneath. Okay guys, here we are underneath. As you can see, uh, the green pipe here is my fuel line. Uh, we've got our exhaust pipe coming from up under there. Uh, and our air intake. This is our exhaust line coming round, coming down here, and then goes into the manifold. Uh, of course, the air intake is down underneath here as well, which is here, and is all cable tied up and everything out the way. Uh, the fuel line is here and runs all the way along the side of the underneath under the van, all. Uh, secured in position with p-clips i'll just show you that now quickly 
Uh, that's one of the P clips there, which where it runs all the way along to the back of the van, where we just go ahead now, and I'll show you that. So here we go, guys. There's the fuel line there. Coming along the back of the van there, goes up into the fuel pump here. Yeah, and then out the fuel pump, we go straight up through the floor into the garage area of the van, which I will now go ahead and show you that. So here we go, guys. There's the fuel tank there. 15 litre fuel tank that I've put into the garage area. Excuse the sunlight on that. I'll try and block it a little bit which is there, bolted to the wall there, uh, and the fuel line comes up through the bottom of the van into that. Yep, and also what I've done, also what I've done guys is I've put a, a breaker in up here, a little 30 amp breaker here coming off the heater, so I can just turn it on and off when I like. So what I'll do now is I'll just turn that breaker on and then I'll take you inside the front of the van there and show you the control panel for the heater and we get it up and running so you can see it running. Okay guys, there's the control panel now for the heating system. Uh, so we can see there we've got 13 volt coming in and we can see that the temperature at the moment inside the van is 15 Celsius. So what we do is we press and hold the power button which is now come on. So it's on power setting number three. So we'll turn this all the way up to six. And we'll see what happens. Right, guys, you can see that's all up and running now. You can see the fans running here. Uh, we've got the power all the way up. Uh, what we're doing now is we're just waiting for it to get to temperature. Yeah, so let me go down, take you to the air vent and you could probably hear that blowing through. So here's the air vent, one of the vents. So here's one of the vents that we got on the uh, seat, on the bench seat. And that's really starting to blow through there. And it's already starting to come through hot already. So that's all working good. Uh, you probably just hear that running. Yep, and that's already blowing out hot air. So that's working really well. is there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it running for 10 minutes and then I'll come back to you and see if that temperature has changed so I'll catch you in a sec okay guys as you can see from that the temperature is going up I'm gonna have to turn this off now because it's getting pretty warm in there so I turn it off we just press and hold the power button and it says off and it goes through its cycle of turning off the, what you must not do is just turn it all off by the battery switch or something like that because that completely ruined the heater you have to let it go for its cycle to cool down okay guys that's the heating system up and running and all working quite well it gets quite warm with that heater uh, i don't think we'd ever run it on full blast because it gets hot very quick um, if you remember in the last video if you did watch that if not go go ahead and watch that i sent off the paperwork to dvla to uh, re-register the van as a camper van. Uh, I've had the logbook back now, and uh, it has come back as camper van and not van with windows. So I'm really happy about that. In the next video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be fitting the water heater. Uh, I've ordered the water heater from uh, Bubble Vans. So I will be doing an installation on that on the next one. Um, so yeah, guys, that'll be it for this week. So. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Um, it really helps my little channel to grow. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.